pretty much everybody has played with a magnet at some point in time. Um, and this experiment, experiment 31, magnetic field of a permanent magnet, as you go into more detail than maybe you ever have, uh, it's actually looking at the relationship between the magnetic field strength and the distance it is from the detector. So um, to do this, it's using a magnetic field sensor like this. This is the uh, three-dimensional magnetic field. And uh, so it measures uh, magnetic fields that come in in this direction, or this direction, or this direction. And the way we've got this one set up here is that it's taped down to the table, and I've got the tape measure here. And this uh, magnetic field sensor is connected to the iPad, and so you're getting a reading here. And what I have is some neodymium magnets, so they're really strong magnets. And if I move them away, you'll notice that it it drops down close to zero. Um, sometimes that won't be zero. In fact, one of the things that the uh, when the experiment was done, it always asks you to remove the magnets as far away as you can and then zero that so it's reading zero. It's like tearing a balance here. You're tearing the sensor. And uh, so when you bring it back, then you end up with a with a number there. And so what happened in the experiment is that the magnet was moved and it's actually moved very small distances because watch what happens to the value. If I move it just maybe about a half a centimeter, it really begins to drop. And so it seems that the magnetic field drops dramatically uh, with distance here. So let's take a look at the data file. Um, over on the axis there, it's magnetic field in millitesla. Uh, here it's distance in meters. And the experiment wants you to look at that relationship in terms of what is it as a function of distance. Let me show you how you do that. Uh, on this graphical analysis app, there are some tools down here, graph tools that you can look at. Um, and very specifically, it asks for you to do a curve fit. And there are different types of fit that you might try, linear, quadratic power, inverse, whatnot. Um, and the, the lab has you do that. Um, I will let you do that yourself. I'll get rid of that one because obviously it doesn't appear to be linear, so we'll make that go away. So again, this experiment uh, investigates the strength of a magnetic field as a function of distance.